couple of YouTubers. I'm going to uh, share my experience with you on uh, how I came up with this idea. Uh, as I said, I was uh, working for a Metro Atlanta Police Department in their Animal uh, Protection Services Division, and we were having a physical fitness assessment at the police training center. So I went in and I sat down on the weight bench, uh, waiting on everybody, and I glanced down into the floor and I saw two 45 pound York barbells sitting there. And that's when the wheels uh, got to spinning. <laughs> no, I didn't take those. Uh, we have a, uh, a play it again sports here in this county. So uh, I went over there and I purchased two of the 45 pounders for about $42 for both of them. And I uh, took it to a buddy of mine named Gordon. He is from South Africa. Uh, yeah. South Africa uh, where they don't have maps uh, and he machined these out for me uh, he got them uh, close you know to what I needed and uh, the only thing I done any different was uh, I machined uh, grooves for serpentine belts in the wheels but uh, you know I don't run monster tension uh, a lot of speed or anything like that and this thing still cuts um, as fast as I want it to cut um, I'm not in a race, but it still cuts very good for the uh, speed that I'm cutting. I'm only running a 10 horsepower to cup saw on it. And a lot of people ask me when I posted this on a, uh, a Facebook um, group, I posted the sawmill on there and I got a lot of questions. But uh, one thing I want to stress is I uh, didn't have a lot of money. I was a father. It was father first. Um, and uh, you know, it, it was more than uh, it evolved into what it is. Uh, it's not perfect. Uh, there's a lot of sawmills out there uh, that people built. Uh, I'm not taking anything away from them. It's very nice sawmills. I wish that we had YouTube back then. They, uh, we didn't have a studio in our back pocket. Um, cell phones were about the size of a shoebox, and uh, uh, you know, I didn't. Uh, get to video, matter of fact, any of it because I didn't even have a video camera back then. But uh, I'm happy with what it is. Uh, you know, if you decide to take this challenge, uh, it is rewarding. Uh, some things can be stressful because not everything works out the first time or the second time. But, um, you know, I get a lot of questions. Uh, that's 90 pounds that is spinning. Yes, it is. You can move this 90 pounds with your small finger but you can't stop it. it uh, a knot in the wood goes unnoticed. Uh, entering the cut goes unnoticed. And, and exiting the cut goes unnoticed. So. Uh,
one thing I want to explain to you is um, if you purchase something that is a means of exchange if you build it it's a passion it's knowledge it's an experience and I promise you one thing if you decide to do this you will absolutely find those 